Hello, MC community. Uh, today we'll do a quick demo on how to use Quick HQ with uh, Result Balls. Um, just a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor for uh, 2012 season is Tech Pro, who's our 40 hour sponsor, then TBS Smart, and then Analyst International. Uh, so please remember our sponsors. Uh, let's scroll down on MCA website homepage. Uh, come down to this menu in the footer, click on main menu. Uh, this will bring you up to a Sports Wars page. Uh, click on administration. Uh, this will bring you up into a login screen. Um, I actually already have the login screen up, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, input your user ID and password. Log in. Uh, once you log in, you need to go and choose competition management from here. You know, choose competition management. It will bring, to, bring you up to this page. Uh, then competition, matches, a match manager. Uh, a match manager, you look for a range. I look for a particular game. You want to look for a particular game or something. I want to look for a particular game, so I'll Click on, I'll do a date range from 24th to say June 14th. Uh, do done, and then search for the games. Uh, in this case, I actually want to score our, one of our upcoming games, which is say uh, between Strikers Whites and North Star CC. Uh, let's click on Actions. Uh, you will get to the screen, uh, click on Select Team. All right, so this is uh, uh, one thing to remember here is uh, it's very important that we have teams selected before we actually look for these scorecards, uh, uh, empty scorecards in Crick HQ because Crick HQ need players to be added to uh, the scorecards uh, ahead of the game. So basically you are declaring your roster uh, that Crick HQ will download and then you'll be able to start scoring. Uh, another point here being is you can see that uh, there are players who are already selected here. Uh, there are players that you can select. Uh, once you have already used the results wall system, uh, the next game that you're going to score or choose players, you'll already have those previous 11 players from your previous game uh, pre-populated. So this is, this, this is pretty slick. Uh, if you want, you can add more players here. Otherwise, you can just choose what the select players are. But you, know, you can just choose players you know, by doing a control A uh, and then just adding them, up, adding them out here too. Say so we'll, we'll do that here. Uh, choose your captain, select a person, and then uh, select a person here. Choose your captain, uh, wicketkeeper, again, select a person, and choose your captain. Scroll down and do an update. Uh, this is available. Uh, if you have an option to choose other teams' roster as well, let's just go in. Do this. Uh, uh, looks like Nostra has already used this system before as well, so they do have their 11 players listed here too. Uh, you can just go in and select this whole roster again or whatever you want to do. Uh, make sure that there are at least 11 players in this list. And then just do an update. Once this is done, now we are actually ready to download the scorecard uh, to our Creek HQ application. Remember, unless you do this, this, roster, this scorecard will not be available in Creek HQ. So let's bring up... Uh, so let's bring up our Creek HQ application here. Uh, so we just click on Creek HQ. It'll do some of its uh, uh, background magic. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, click on HQ, uh, do a new match. Once you do a new match, it says you must for current event a new one. Okay, let's pause our current match. Uh, I was actually testing this out, so I probably already had a match. I would say, um, beautiful things to start. Uh, well, action. Let's say end the match. Uh, well, discard. Discard this match. Yes, I want to discard this match. All right, so let's go back to Creek HQ and say, hmm, back, say new match. And the new match, you will see you're an option to choose from Resolve Walls Fixture. Just click on Resolve Walls Fixture. Uh, now you will actually choose, look for the to look for the team. So let's say North Stars. North Stars, and do a search. Okay, there you go. It should bring up, uh, if there are multiple teams in there, it will bring up multiple teams. But let's use this guy here. Choose North Stars, and here you go. We have all the games listed here. So the game that we just chose was June 9th, 2012, uh, that we already selected the roster for. So we'll click on this. I will do download and play. 
Now it's actually talking to result walls and trying to download all the information that we added up there. There we go, uh, bingo. Uh, click on this, uh, choose your region, choose your date. Uh, then you go, once you're done, you say done. Uh, then you select your match type. In our case, it will be actually two innings game. So we just do two innings game. Uh, you know, we just choose that and we did done. Uh, then you go down to a uh, striker's white. Just make sure that all the players are there. You can actually uh, unselect and select players if you want to as well. And then at the end, you can just do done. Uh, do the same thing, team details, quick uh, North Stars team details. And once you're done, all you need to do is click start. And boom, bingo, there you go. You're ready to score the game. Click on start innings and you can start scoring the game. Uh, now, uh, a word of caution here. Uh, if you're using an iPhone or something, please make sure that you have a valid internet connection all the time. So this score basically gets uploaded or updated uh, in real time. Otherwise, what it will basically do is it will score the game on your phone or on your iPod 